In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an effective low voltage auto cutoff circuit for a lithium iron battery with only one component. This circuit is so effective that it will automatically cut off a lithium iron battery when the voltage is at 2.5 volts. So guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. And so guys, for this project, we're going to need a 6 volt relay. You can as well use a 5 volt relay for the project. It's going to work perfectly well. And make sure to test the relay to ensure that the contacts are all working. So now guys, we're going to connect one terminal of the relay coil to the COM of the relay. And so guys, I made a video on how I built an automatic charger with just two components for a lithium iron battery. This circuit was so effective that it charged the lithium iron battery and caught the charging at 4.2 volts. So I'm going to place a video down in the description below. So if you want to watch this video, just click the link down in the description. And if you've watched this video, notify me by commenting watched. And so guys, now we're going to hook up some wires to the normally open of the relay contact. And also we're going to hook up another wire to the coil of the relay. These are the points where we're going to get our output from the battery. I'd appreciate if you could let me know where you're watching from. Please leave a name of your country in the comments. It helps me understand my audience better. And no, this is an AI. This is my actual voice. All right, sorry about that. So now guys, let's hook up a battery. But first, we're going to measure the voltage of the battery. And as you can see here, guys, we have a voltage of 4.0 volts. So the battery is fully charged. So now we're going to hook up the terminal of the battery. You can use any of the terminals of the battery. Hook it up to the... COM. So now I'm going to hook up my multimeter probes to the output of the relay. So the reason why we're doing this is to measure the voltage output from the relay. And so guys, if you like this video, support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And so we're going to use the end of the battery to touch the coil of the relay. And as you can see, we have an output voltage of 3.9 volts. So guys, this means that the coil has been activated and has drawn the COM to contact with the normally open. And that's the reason why we have an output. So I'm going to try this one more time again so you can see what is going on. As you can see here, guys, we have an output. So now we're going to hook up a switch. So the reason why we're using a switch here is to stop voltage from flowing from the battery to the coil when the battery is not in use. And so guys, in my previous video, I showed how to make an oscillator with a relay. And also in that video, I explained clearly how a relay works. So I'm going to place the link to that video down in the description below. And if you have watched the video, notify me by commenting watched. Now, so guys, watch what happens when I turn on the switch. And as you can see here, guys, this, the coil attracts the COM and the COM attaches itself with a normally open. And then we have an output. So guys, to be sure this is working, we're going to connect a load. So we're going to connect this DC motor to the output of our circuit. And as you can see here, guys, when I turn on the switch, the motor starts turning.
So we're going to breach the output of the circuit to see if it's going to stop. And as you can see, even as we breached the output, the relay still turns on. So guys, this circuit works very well with a 3 volt battery and it outputs the voltage as well. So let's test and see if it actually shuts down if the battery is low. So guys, we're going to use a low voltage lithium ion battery. So guys, we're going to connect a very low voltage battery. But before we connect the battery, let's measure the voltage. And as you can see here, guys, we have a voltage of 2.5 volts. So now we're going to hook up the battery to the relay and see if it's going to turn on. So now we're going to replace the fully charged battery with the very low voltage battery. And so guys, a BMS circuit will stop outputting the voltage from a lithium ion battery when the battery is at 2.5 volts or 3.0 volts. So now let's test if this circuit is going to do the same thing. And as you can see here guys, the motor does not turn on. To indicate that the circuit has shut off the battery. And so guys, the reason why the circuit is not outputting any voltage is because the battery is low and it cannot energize the coil anymore to attract the COM to contact with the normally open. And so guys, comment down below, is this DIY build better than a BMS? So guys, as you can see in this video, the circuit did very well by not outputting any voltage at all. And also guys, it did very well by protecting the battery and not allowing the battery to drain more of its power. So guys, place your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about this video? Remember, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Stay creative and stay safe. Goodbye.